Welcome back to something ever so slightly different on this channel. I have seen a few people play this game, whether it be on TikTok or YouTube Shorts or something like this. And I thought that it would be a fantastic ASMR video opportunity because not only does it allow you to access that creativity part of your brain that I don't have, it also looks like a hell of a lot of fun. So the game I am talking about is called Storyteller. It is a puzzle based game in which you have the options to create storyboards that fit, that have to fit certain criteria. You will see as we get into this game what it is about and how it is played. But I thought that this could be such a relaxing opportunity. Now, if you want to see more of this type of content, whether it's relaxing games or just more storyteller, click that subscribe button. We are on our way to 20 click. We are on our way to 20k. Whether it's called ASMR or Clem's ASMR, which is what the channel's now called, which I'm still getting used to. It's all the same thing. We will do the same thing. I just changed it for the algorithm because hopefully it'll be better. That being said, we're going to get into it. We're going to play it for maybe 20, 30 minutes. See how we get on. Um, but first off, I've got to try and turn the music off or down at the very least because it is loud. So I have turned the music off completely. Quality should be high quality. Yeah, full screen, yes. Language auto. How do we go back? Story. There, there we go. Okay, it's quite loud. Let's turn it down for you guys. And let's see where we go from here. Um, Storyteller. Look at this. You've got. It's basically a book. At the end of this book lies a crown. It is bestowed only to the finest storytellers of the realm. Every page is empty, save for a title. It is your duty to fill these pages with the most captivating tales. Complete this book and prove yourself worthy of the title of storyteller. I want to turn these sounds off. Give me two seconds, guys. So I've turned this down in my own headphones. Hopefully it's not too loud for you guys. So we have chapter one that obviously we haven't done. Chapter two, there's loads of different things in it anyway. Multiple things. So we're going to start with chapter one, which is called Love heartbreak and afterlife so Adam starts alone finds love and dies happy make a story with this title so we have Adam he's sad he starts alone we then have Adam and Eve he finds love make a story with this in the title Eve there and Adam there because he's dead so he dies happy but Eve is obviously sad. So there we go, we have done that. So Adam starts alone, finds love and dies happy. And this is the game. We have to drag these characters or scenarios or just objects into these storyboards to create a story. Eve dies heartbroken. So, love. Um, Eve, uh, Adam and Eve. They're in love. Death, Adam and Eve, and then Death, Eve. There we go. We didn't even have to add another person because she fell in love. She breaks her heart because he died, and then she dies. What a what a happy start to this series. <laughs> what a happy start this is. Seeing the ghost of a lover. Okay, so oh shit, love. Adam and Eve. They're in love. Death. Adam dies. Love. Eve sees dead Adam. Because he's a ghost. He's already died in the story. So the only way he comes back is if he's a ghost. Okay. That's chapter one done. That was like a tutorial. What's this? Oh god. Three out of fifty one done. Chapter 2, Recovery. So we have Edgar, Lenora, Bernard and Isabel, in fact. Give me two seconds, guys. So I've moved my camera up towards the top. And you can see all the characters now. So, 
a heartbreak is healed. So there's got to be a wedding between Edgar and Lenora. Lenora dies. Heartbreak. So Edgar gets remarried to Isabel. Oh, we've got to try and do it without any deaths. Okay, let's get rid of this all. Oh, he's told her he's in love. Oh my god, okay. So Edgar marries Bernard. Len Lenora marries Isabel. And then Edgar is in love. Oh, wait. A heartbreak is healed. Okay. So she's not happy that he's also already married. So Edgar is married to Bernard. She wants to get married but can't. So now she's heartbroken. So Lenora then gets married to Isabel without any deaths. Smashed it. We didn't have to use it. Let's go. Another heartbreak is healed. Oh, so, wedding. Lenora marries Isabel. Death, Lenora. Is sad because Isabel's died. <laughs> Revive. Isabel comes back to life. Lenora gets to marry Isabel again. Smashed it. Everyone rejects Edgar. <laughs> Wedding, Lenora marries Isabel. Oh, wedding, Lenora and Edgar. Wedding, Edgar and Isabel. He rejected twice, he just needs Bernard. Death, Lenora dies, Isabel's not happy. So therefore, Isabel gets married to Bernard. And then Bernard cannot marry Edgar. They're the three scenarios. I, I'm smashing this. So, Lenora married Isabel. Lenora then says, nope, I can't marry Edgar. Heartbroke. The same way Isabel cannot marry Edgar. Lenora dies. Isabel's not happy. So Isabel gets married to Bernard, in which case Bernard cannot marry Edgar. Surviving spouses find comfort. Stories can use fewer frames. Okay, so Edgar and Lenora marry. Bernard and Isabel marry. Bernard dies. And Laura's upset. Lenora's upset. Oh, Isabel's upset, sorry. Um, Lenora dies. Edgar's heartbroken. Ego Edgar marries Isabel. They're the two survivors. Happy days. We're smashing this. And that's the end of that. Let's move on to the next chapter, shall we? Apparitions. Revelation. Edgar shocks himself. What? <laughs> Edgar dies. Edgar suffers memory loss. He sees the mirror that he's a ghost. Edgar. D there we go. Edgar dies. He suffers amnesia whilst he's dead. Forgets he's a ghost. Sees himself in a mirror. Oh my god, I'm dead. Oh, by the way, guys, I've just got some Harry Bow strips. Look at these. If you can see them. I'm just going to munch on these. Okay, there's a wedding between Lenora and Edgar. Edgar dies. Edgar's revived. Edgar remarries Isabel. 
because he's come back to life. Now, Edgar cannot remarry because he's already married, but she doesn't know that he's remarried since coming back. Smashed it. Heartbroken spouses are reunited. Sorry, a wedding. Edgar and Lenora. Edgar, I'm oh, sorry. Edgar dies. And Lenora dies. No, yeah, Lenora. Okay. Therefore, Edgar must be revived. Edgar then sees the fact that Lenora has died. Lenora is revived. And they then get remarried. Because they both thought each other was dead. Oh, I like this. Oh, in the afterlife. Okay. We don't need to use all these. Uh, and They're not heartbroken. How do we do this then? In the afterlife. So they're married. Edgar dies. Edgar's revived. Lenora dies. Edgar dies again. They're both heartbroken. Edgar dies again. Doesn't make a difference. And in the afterlife, they remarry. Wow, that was actually a lot more difficult. It's getting harder, guys. It's getting harder. Heartbreak for everyone. Edgar and Lenora are married. Edgar sees Lenora dead. Lenora is revived. Lenora and Len Lenora and Isabel get married, and at the wedding, um, it was Lenora initially. He's heart. Oh no, he's heartbroken twice. Okay. Edgar and Isabel. No, what? Sorry, here we go. No. You just get free. Oh, is it what? Death. Lenora sees Isabel dead. How can Lenora be heartbroken? Isabel, sorry, how can Isabel be heartbroken? Unless we swap this. Isabel's heartbroken. Lenora's needs to be heartbroken. Okay. Okay, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Edgar's married Lenora, seen the fact she died. Okay, how about this? Seen the fact she died. He then remarries Isabel. Isabel. Sorry. Yeah, Isabel sees Edgar dead. Isabel's heartbroken. He's been heartbroken. Uh, but he died married. So revive Edgar. And wedding Lenora and Edgar. No, Lenora's dead. You can't marry a dead person. Or oh, they're both dead. So wedding Edgar and Lenora. No. Oh my god. This is tough. And I'm not getting this. Let's swap this round. Lenora and Edgar. Let's get rid of this completely. 
Nora's not happy, Edgar's dead. So Lenora marries Isabel. Lenora sees that Isabel's dead. Revive Edgar. So them two are married. She's heartbroken. Them two are married. She's heartbroken. But they're still married. So then wedding between Edgar, who's alive, and Lenora. No. She died. I'm so confused. I wonder if we start with a death. Edgar. He's confused. They've got no... We've got no relation. So, Edgar must get married to Lenora. This is a tough one, guys. I'm either being stupid or I don't get it. Oh, I'm an idiot. That's not heartbreak. Okay, hear me out. They're both angry. Edgar sees Lenora dead. How's the heartbreak? Ooh. Okay, hear me out. Wedding, Lenore, no, Isabel and Edgar, no, they found love again, Edgar sees someone else dead, ah, I remember, I've been an idiot, revive Lenora, and Lenora sees that Edgar's died, oh wait, I'm an idiot, wait, no, this needs to be the other way around, there we go. Oh my god, we didn't even need anyone to get remarried. It just needs to be the person that was married to them. Saw them dead once they'd come back. God, that took me a while. It took me a while. These sweets are good, though. You used to have extra ones. Lenora drinks poison. Wedding. So, Lenore, no, wedding between Lenora and Edgar. Edgar dies. Lenora drinks the poison. It's a bit like, um, Romeo and Juliet. It's been a double poison. They get married. You see, she's died. She's poisoned, so Edgar kills himself. Lenora is then revived. Sees the fact that Edgar's dead. And poisons herself. Oh, someone drinks the poison twice. Okay. There we go. He's done it again. He's revived. Realises she's still dead. Drinks the poison again. Isabel remarries a wedding between Isabel and Edgar. Isabel and Edgar have a fight. Can I just... Isabel and Lenora. She's married and she's heartbroken. Why does that equal heartbroken? Wine. Oh, wait. Edgar gets drunk. Has an argument with Isabella. No. Isabella. No. Isabel. So not Isabella. Has a drink. Starts arguing with him. So Edgar. No. What's the wine got to do with it? Um, they get married 
Then Nora drinks the wine. Edgar drinks some wine. They get into a fight. Edgar and Lenora. How do people die then? Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Isabella and Edgar have a fight. She then plots the wine. So at the wedding, they're angry with each other. How does Isabella end up remarrying? Back to the fight between Isabella and Edgar. Or... What? Oh. There we go, it's turned green now. Edgar drinks it, she dies. Lenora and Isabella remarry. Wow, that was a tough one. That was a tough one. So, Isabella and Edgar marry. They have a fight. She poisons his wine that he drinks. He dies. She then remarries. Isabel commits a crime. So, Edgar and Isabel get married. Um, Isabel's drinking wine. Edgar's drinking wine. Why is she so... Ed, oh, sorry, wine. Edgar drinks some wine. What's going on in here? Why is she looking at the, the poison? She wants to take us on the book. Does Isabel have some wine? And do something with the poison? This one's a bit tricky. This one's a little bit tricky. It's tricky. Why does she look at... Okay. She always looks at the wine like that. So what can she do with this? How about this? Oh, okay. So, Lenora and Edgar get married. Edgar meets Isabel, and it angries her. There we go. That's why she's, she has... There's got to be a... What do you call it? There's got to be a motive. So, she, he's pissed her off. She grabbed that. Lenora wants... He wants her to die. Everyone meets their demise. He's sad because he's heartbroken, okay. No, I don't get how I'm going to get everyone meets their demise. Oh, okay. So, Edgar drinks it first. Then we're going to go poison Isabel. Drinks it because he's died. Wow, okay. I don't get how to get that one. They marry, she's pissed off, she poisons it. Lenora drinks it, and she drinks it, because they're both upset he's dead. There we go. That was good. That was good. The cellar. Now we move on to the beauty. Chapter 5. This will be the last one. No extras in this. Oh no. That's right, do what you're told. Curse. We're in a forest. And the witch puts a spell on Snowy. We're in the forest and Prince sees Snowy. 
So snowy. Kisses. The frog. It turns her back into snowy. The prince saves Tiny. In the forest, the witch puts a spell on Tiny. In the forest, Snowy finds Tiny. So Snowy kisses Tiny. She doesn't want to kiss a frog. In the forest, does Snowy tell the prince? None of them want to kiss a frog. What? Oh. Okay. So the witch also sees you. Does the prince kiss Snowy? No. What the fuck? Right, I start again. In the forest, the witch puts a spell on Snowy. He doesn't want to kiss a frog. What the fuck? Oh. In the forest, Snowy sees Tiny. She doesn't like him, but he's in love. They're both in love. Fuck. Does the prince fancy Tiny? What? Oh, the prince saves Tiny. But in the forest, the witch puts a spell on Tiny. So in the forest, the prince sees Tiny. So the prince kisses Tiny. What the fuck? None of them want to kiss a frog. Has it got anything to do with the witch? Surely it's got to have something to do with the witch. In the, the prince sees Snowy. No. In the forest, Snowy sees Tiny. They both don't like it and they're both sweating. What's wrong with Tiny? Why do people not like Tiny? Okay. In the forest. Now he sees Tiny. The witch puts a spell on Tiny. They fall in love. That's not what we want. Oh, right, okay, okay. I think I've got something here. Bear with. In the forest, the witch, no. The prince falls in love with her. The witch puts a spell on her. Also in the forest, the witch puts a spell on Tiny. So now he thinks that this frog is her. So the prince is happy to kiss her. No. What? I thought that the prince saw Snowy. Get turned into a frog. He then saw Tiny get turned into a frog. The frog's on the boat and they're meant to kiss. Is it because he doesn't like the frog? What? The heck you do this in four storyboards? In the forest, the witch puts a spell on Snowy. In the, oh, in the forest, the witch puts a spell on Tiny. Or is it the prince? He gets turned into a frog. In the forest, the tiny and the prince meet. So, um, do they kiss? We, we got an achievement for frogs kissing, but it doesn't help each other. Will Snowy... He loves the prince frog. Okay. What? So change that to kiss. Snowy and the prince. No. In the f wait. In the forest, the prince sees Tiny. He loves. Oh. But 
but it's got to be the opposite now. But he's repulsed by it. So the witch puts a spell on the prince. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. So, Tiny kisses the prince. What? I just had it. Wait, Forest. The prince is tiny. Can this be the opposite way around? No, because they don't love him. <sighs> the witch. I think it's the prince. How does that work? Again. Oh, I'm so confused. The prince. No, sorry, in the forest, the prince meets Tiny and he loves him. In the forest, the witch thing is the prince. In the forest, the prince meets tiny so no because that's not the prince saving tiny it's the opposite way around so that should be tiny and he won't kiss him how does the prince save him how on earth does the prince save tiny I'm going to move on which becomes the mirror's favourite oh my god what's going on You don't look like that. So, the witch. Why is the witch there? Makes a cauldron. No. In the forest. The witch meets Snowy. Turns to... Turns to a frog. The frog loves the what? I'm going back. This is where it's getting bare confusing. We'll be going 30 odd minutes. We're going to do this one and then get gone. The prince and snowy kiss. The prince. The witch turns tiny into a thing. So the prince kisses tiny. No. The kiss has got to be, or the kiss has got to be the last one. And it's got to be the prince and tiny. Right, let's reverse engineer this. What's happened to Tiny? Well, Tiny has been turned into a frog. By the prince. No, by the witch. But in the forest, Tiny and Snowy have met each other. She doesn't like him. And in the forest, they're fallen in love. It's, yeah. I don't get this. In the forest, the witch turns tiny to a frog. In the forest, the witch turns snowy into a frog. Oh no, hang on. You won't get the fucking frog. It 
a bunch of frogs. How do you do this? In the forest. The prince and snowy. Prince meets tiny. In the forest. Why is snowy here? Oh, wait. What happens with... No. 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 No one kisses the witch. No. No. So it's only those two that work. I wonder if that... Okay, so Snowy knows that's the prince. How about then? Um, the prince. Sorry, Snowy kisses the prince. What? So... How's the prince meant to say tiny here? So the prince is little. Like a frog. The witch does tiny. The prince sees tiny. And then they kiss. But it's got to be human. Um, so if we swap that for Snowy. No. I'm going to have to Google this one. I am so far perplexed. Wait. I'm being an idiot. The prince is dumb. So Snowy gets changed into a frog, as does Snowy. Snowy see ah, oh, so he sees Snowy. What is that? I did it the wrong way round. Snowy gets made into a frog, as does Tiny. He sees the frog that is Snowy, jumps on a boat to kiss what he thinks is Snowy, but it's actually Tiny. I'm dumb. So, where are we with this? There's a witch and Snowy. She's not happy, she's queasy. So it's got to be, the witch becomes the mirror's favourite. So this is when we find out he's not the favourite. She's not the favourite. So she's angry and tells her to fuck off. The witch is then at the cauldron. What happens when Snowy's at the cauldron? No. The witch then meets. Tis, um, in fact, no, it's still like that. So let's go like that. Into a frog. The witch. Or oh, Snowy's. At the. The 
frog was better. How do we kill off the frog? How does that make sense? The mirror sees snowy. Okay. So the witch is at the cauldron and then turns snowy to a frog. The mirror then sees the frog. No, you're not meant to be favourite. How does the how does the witch become the favourite? Okay. Let's turn these right. So that something happens, and then that something happens. Oh. There we go. What happened there? Oh. So, off the bat, she's the favourite. She goes to a cauldron, and she's ugly. Gets changed to a frog. The frog goes back. It's adorable. So then when she goes back to the cauldron and she's youthful. She's she, she's more exuberant. She then goes back to the mirror and she's the favourite because she's better than a frog. The mirror praises everyone. Right, frog, no. PG, yes. AT, no. Peachy gets praise. Peachy jumps off a cliff. What? Oh. The mirror doesn't like the frog. Sorry. Haiti. So Haiti pushes him off a cliff. Now Haiti is the best. Peachy the ghost scares Haiti off the cliff. And now everyone's dead, so the frog's the favourite. I got that one. That one was good. So Peachy was the favourite. He wasn't happy that he was the favourite, so pushes him off a cliff. He then goes back and he's the favourite. Now the frog can't do anything because it's a frog. So the ghost of Peachy comes back and scares Haiti off the cliff. And then the frog is the only one alive. Hey, there we go. So I hope you guys have enjoyed that. I hope you have enjoyed that. That was a bit of a longer thing than I thought it was going to be. But that is such a fun game, isn't it? I hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll catch you later. Goodbye.